Uh, well, look, we had Shawnee Mack who came in for the Kangaroos game and he went back to the SNFL and responded very well. Uh, Josh Jenkins, Tom Lynch have both been in awesome form. So uh, glad we've got guys who are performing in the SNFL because um, they'll easily step up into these positions. How's Taylor taking it? Yeah, all right. I think he, uh, yeah, he's obviously a bit angry and, and upset. He, he loves playing for us and he's such a passionate guy. And um, Yeah, to miss three weeks, he's a little bit disappointed, but... Look, we love the way he's uh, he's been aggressive with, like we've been on to him about being aggressive in that defensive part of his game, and he's been doing so. He's just got to tidy up on a few little technique issues, but um, yeah, we're certainly going to miss him. Has the club it's, spoke it's through about time. the tackling uh, since then, about uh, the way you guys approach it or anything? Or yeah, no? every, we've all got to do a lot of work on our tackling. There's still a lot, a lot of us who are getting stepped, and um, some of us who aren't aggressive, uh, aggressive enough. So Tex has got that aggressive part down pat. Um, Again, we've just got to get that technique right. Does he acknowledge that he stepped over the line, or is he a bit, a bit dark on it all? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to Tex, actually, about it, so it um, might be one for him. Hey, Rory, Rory as a pre-season, it was a focus, the tackling, and you've got you know a bit of expertise from a, another sport in the club in terms of, um, I think it's is it Nick. Nick, yeah. yeah. Is it maybe just a case of, for all you blokes, that when it becomes so much of a theme, it, it almost makes you too enthusiastic in some ways? Uh, sometimes you do get a little overexcited, yeah. and you, you might overshoot and not think about um, the technique of it. Um, but again, that's still we're still learning, and we still got to perfect that part of the game. Roy, well, in terms of learning, you then you have to know what you can and can't do. Do you think it's pretty clear now as to where you can't cross that line? Yeah, I think the AFL's made it pretty clear about where they um, where they cross, where people have crossed the line, and and the tackles that they don't want in the game at all. Do you just tell him not to pick up blokes? Just take him to the ground? Um, oh well, I think that's what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Injury-wise, Nathan Van Berlo had a bit of a kick today. Do you think he'll get up? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine, I reckon. Do, do you, how do you take the handle of being favourites and clear-cut favourites for the showdown? Um, I don't even know. We were clear-cut favourites. But look, Porter, they've been the number one clearance side in the last four weeks. Um, they're still in some great form. Um, and showdowns are completely different games anyway. We, they're always like a finals, finals type game. And uh, that's how you've got to take it. And it's going to be awesome for us. Have you talked about in the in the review about your slow start, slow starts over the last couple of weeks? Um, oh no, not really. There was a lot of skill errors involved in in last week's performance, and and a few against North as well. So um, we'll certainly tighten up on on that area. But um, I think our first ten minutes of both games have generally been generally been pretty good. Somewhat of a cliche question, mate. But if you were to you know be a punter out there and a crow supporter, where would you think, or where could you tell them that your side has the edge over Port? Oh, I'm really not sure. I think it's going to be a great battle of midfields again. Um, as I said before, they're, they're the number one clearance team in the last four weeks and, and we're probably a bit down on, on that area at the moment, so it's really going to be a, a great battle in the midfield. With yourself, uh, you know, great year, make no mistake. Sustaining it, is that a challenge in itself? Like, how are you going about trying to maintain intensity and so stay up for so long? Yeah, just trying to maintain training standards and, and uh, just what worked well for us in the start of the year. Obviously, when the start of the year comes around, you're a bit more excited, you're keen to do a bit more and a bit extra. Um, trying to maintain that sort of level is fun, I think. Who's it, the burden on you in the midfield? Because it, you can't carry it all all year long as Sloan, Dangerfield and Thompson. So who's stepping up for you? Uh, I think you saw Matthew, Matty Wright come in after Van Burlo went out. Um, he's one that's really stepped up and, and performed awesome. Um, we know we can give him a job on, well, he came in and played on Cochin for a while there and did a really good job. Um, probably saw Porps run through there for a bit. He's another one that's really stepped up and even Petrenko as well. He's, uh, he's one that just cracks in really as hard a, over the football. As a second ruckman, who have you liked working to best? Uh, Joshy Jenkins and Shawnee Mack are just awesome to read off. And uh, Tippo as well. Tippo comes in and does an awesome job for us. Pinch hits for a couple of quarter and uh, you know exactly what you're going to get from Tippo. Where's that debate? Should he just stay at full forward or should he keep rotating through the road? Uh, that's one for Sando, mate. I don't, I'm not sure where. I, I like him anywhere. He, uh, his work on the ground, he's just as good on the ground as he is in the air. You mentioned the skill, skill errors on, on Saturday. BB said you say the intensity was there early, but obviously a few skill errors. What do you put them down to, particularly early? Uh, just being composed. I think we just had to, especially when the heat's on um, early on in the games. Uh, Richmond are coming off a, a bye. They were always going to be up and about early. I think we probably just need to take the speed out of the game and be a bit more controlled um, with our ball use. Is that the same deal? I mean, in terms of 
not allowing size to score freely against you at times? Uh, yeah, probably. Yep. Paul Pleasure left the track early today. Is he all right? Uh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he, he should be fine, I reckon. Um, I'm not sure what blokes are... Blokes had higher um, work rates than others over the game on the weekend, so there might be a few guys just doing a bit more recovery this week. That'd be about it. And the press conferences this week have been a bit matey. Really good feeling. There's no uh, anger or anything like that. If this was Collingwood or something like that, would it be a different approach? Or uh, is a Port Adelaide a team that you don't like that much? Really matey. Yeah. Very um, nice feeling about it and that sort of thing. No, the showdowns are massive games. We we love building up the showdowns and I know you guys love building them up as well. So the more the built up, the better because it creates that sort of great atmosphere for us. And um, we know the game's, got, the game's always going to be on early in a showdown. So uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. Do you still Thanks. think there's the same level of aggression? I mean, you, you look back at like the Jamison and um, coming. Incident and you know those sort of things throughout history. Like, is there still that same real feeling in the showdowns? Yeah, definitely. I just don't think you can probably get away with as much anymore in in uh, in the game this like in these years now. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah. Yes. Good. 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 Good.